I wasn't gonna talk about it, but I like I like to say something on there. Please and, do. Okay, no, so no, no. what is I mean anybody that's seen the news or even looks at money in the past forty eight hours have been seeing oh yeah these redditors yeah that have been driving up prices and trying to give the finger to fucking Wall Street um by driving up prices on these hedge funds. Forcing them to lose lose their ass. We'd be doing a um, disservice if we didn't talk about this. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 and what happened today? So the market opened, and within two minutes, they blocked all trades of certain ticker symbols, like GM, uh, GameStop, uh, BlackBerry, Nokia, um, AMC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think even and, American and Airlines also. I have to double check, but I think you're correct. But my thing is, first off, how the fuck is that legal? And then second of all, why do those rules apply for them, but we can't play by the same rules? Well, it's not. I mean, it's always been like that. It's not. Yeah, it's definitely. Um, it's legal because these are the people that 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 make the laws. That 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 you know these these people. It's bro. We we already know the money, the smart money. I see. That's what they call it. The smart money. The smart money is the um. What's it called? Is is it, you know is the one that control all everything, bro. They control everything, and I know that's and I know and I know that's what the movement is trying to do. Is trying to beat the smart money for a change and and, and try to put the things in 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 regular everyday people's hands. But obviously, the smart money has more control than we think. There's well, an official statement from Robinhood because Robinhood was the first one to cut off. Cut all the sales off. Yeah. It said, uh, uh, in light of extraordinary market conditions this week, we temporarily limited buying for certain securities this morning. Starting tomorrow, we plan to allow limited buys of these securities. This was a temporary decision made to best continuing to serve you. And then, um, as a brokerage firm, we have many financial requirements, including SEC net capital obligations and clearing house deposits. Some of these requirements fluctuate based on volatility in the markets. It can be substantial in the current environment. These requirements exist to protect investors and the markets, and we take our responsibility to reply to them seriously, including through the measures we have taken today. So basically what I they're saying that, is <laughs> they're supposed to protect people's money. So a lot of people do go through Robinhood and do go on, do get hedge funds. There's a lot of people, these hedge funds, they... Um, how do you say they fund people's IRAs, retirement shits, 401k plans and shit. So these people doing that, yes, they hurt the big name markets, the big hedge funds and all these big guys, but they're also hurting the people that have their money invested with them too, within like the regular people within their 401k plan. Like my girl got a 401k. Her shit could be fucked up because these people did that shit and that's affecting her money, you know what I mean? Her retirement. Yeah, but so, so so let me let me ask you this: the big people that get it. So, but well, let me ask you this: why 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 do why are they why can they protect um everybody? Why can they protect everybody against what these guys are doing? But they can't protect everybody against when the hedge funds do what they the head do what they do overnight when the markets are closed. Yeah, well, another thing is it's my right. It's like if if. If I want to take my hard-earned cash, and let's just say, Dre, you started up a business that mm -hmm. produces yeah. edible pellets of shit. <laughs> okay. Regardless if it's good for anybody or not, okay. I'm like, yeah, that's something I want to back and I want to get behind. And for some reason, you're a publicly traded company. We're hiring, shoveling shit, y'all. Hiring. We're hiring. We got jobs shoveling shit. Anybody. Who is who's anybody to stop me from investing in you? Right. Like nobody called these people. And it, obviously, it's not the investors like that that are. Obviously, there's a demand for it. If all these people are trying to jump in and buy and buy exactly. and buy and buy, exactly. Who the fuck is calling for somebody to step in and protect you against the? But yeah, what are you getting protected against? Right. I mean, honestly, I think the SEC. If anybody should have said, like, yo, we got to stop this shit. And it's not coming from them. It came from Robin Hood. It came from right. uh, all the other small trades. Uh, 
What's the other name of that place? Uh, yeah, fuck him, I don't know. Fidelity? Weeble, E-Trade, Fidelity, fucking Charles Schwab. Everywhere you're trying fuck. to buy, everywhere you're trying to buy AMC today. Yeah. Doesn't matter where, 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 where the hell, wherever the hell you was trying to buy AMC today. I did, I did not know that I could buy it through Cash App. Until yeah. it was too late. Until it was too late? Yeah, until it was too late. Nokia too. So, I I got yeah. like the very last little bit of uh, of when uh, when they were still allowing Nokia. I got a little bit a little piece of it on Cash App. But I mean, some something about the whole situation just stinks, you know. Especially you know we're we're all supposed to be capitalists and all that stuff, and it's supposed to be a a free market or free trade. Um, but obviously it stinks enough for fucking AOC and Ted Cruz to agree that it fucking stinks. One thing I love yeah. about it, one thing I love about it is that the shit is coming to light. You know what I mean? People are starting to wake up to certain things. You know what I mean? Like this whole thing, like these people have been doing this to people for hundreds of years. Every yeah. night the stock market closes at five o'clock and that's when these people trade. Yep. They, they so trade when we're not allowed to trade. <laughs> let, 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 let's, let's go to... Um... I guess this will be a segue to the next shit y'all talking about. Um, who runs the world money? What? Who runs the world's money? Good oh, question. fucking Vatican. 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 There. Rock Lucci. Rock control the majority of the world's money. They're big, old money, old, long money on top of that. And how do you keep old money going? People trying to come up and get new money, you put a stop to that shit. That's exactly what the wild childs are doing. They don't want you to get that money. They don't want you to be part of the new world order. They Lucha, want you sound all same, man. You, you're sounding muffled. You don't normally sound muffled, bro. Yeah, your mic, your mic is a little off. I mean, I don't have the same mic today. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm on a different mic today. Okay. I applaud all those people. The, the little underdogs that are trying to take on fucking Wall Street. Because, I mean, regardless if you say they're losing or not, I mean, the numbers are there. They done drove GameStop way above what it was at. Yeah. Way above. Even, even, it, even if it settles at $200 right now, just like a, not too long ago, it was at like four bucks for the low. They're doing the same shit with GM. Yeah, it's starting to settle back down and drop. But, I mean, they're showing fucking Wall Street. And they're they're pushing back, and when they're doing this, it's it's causing huge losses to these hedge funds. Yeah, and yeah. I don't even I'm not even sure if these groups are doing it for the money or just to prove a point. They're doing it to prove a point because these people, these groups have the money. These these groups already have money. They live in good already. They just don't have anything to do, and they're like, okay, you know what? This is the next good thing to do. Crash these sons of the grits. And it honestly, I'm I, I I'm impressed. I'm impressed by what, by, by what they did with GameStop. I'm so impressed. It was so cool. My like, my brother called me yesterday because he's into the whole stock world, you know. And he called me yesterday and he was like, "Yo, do you know what's going on with the stocks?" I'm like, "I, I got no clue. What are you talking about?" You know. And he's like, "Listen," well, he started talking his mumbo jumbo, and I'm like, "Dude, just give it to me in layman's terms." He's like, "Dude, go buy some AMC." And I'm like, "Dude, yeah. you know, yeah, 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 yeah. The other thing, this, that, the other thing, and." Sure as shit. By the time I got around to trying to buy it, it was you could, only, you could only buy a hundred dollars at a time. But AMC dropped today too, though. Yeah, yeah. they yeah because they, they shut it off because they, they wouldn't let nobody else buy it. So of course it's gonna drop. But In the, the sad minutes. part is these hedge funds they're 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 betting on the stocks to drop. So and and that's what these guys are doing. They're saying, okay, well, they have no. Every, that's since, when they since, throw their money in. Everybody, yeah, they're saying, okay, you know what? Let's get a million rich people. We got money anyway. Let's get us all together. Everybody, everybody, go buy as much Game Stocks as you can because if they didn't do that, Game Stock was gonna go in the toilet. And they were like, no, we GameStop's grew up gonna, on. Look, we, we grew up on on, on Game Stock. Game Stock's gonna go in the toilet with or without this fight going on behind it. Game Stock been in the toilet. Um, all these companies, like, yeah, it, it's they're not doing it to save the company. Like I said, they're doing it to take. So they're they're finding these small price stocks, something that that has a a high 
or, or how do I how do I word it properly? Has like a high buyback. That that's how the hedge funds make their money. Um, now, how they make how they make their money is they fucking they they do what they call uh, short sales, saying like yeah we can't borrow this amount of stock from you because we gonna say this shit finna drop for this when it drops for this we gonna buy that shit and fucking run it back up. But these guys have noticed that there's fucking there's fucking well known companies that are four dollars, uh ten dollars, eleven dollars, and once it catches their eye and they see the potential in it. They're they're going on Reddit and they're going on forums and then they're just driving it up and they're holding on to it. Mm -hmm. So whenever the the market closes, like it's gonna do tomorrow, because after tomorrow, these hedge funds have to pay uh have to pay market price. Oh, what is it? Uh, mm -hmm. it's, um, For their losses, yeah. The, the, that was that part uh, was being just explained. To... It's that... called a margin call. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, right. But that part was just being explained to me today, and uh, and I I didn't really get it until uh, until today that if if you you, you know it's kind of like you're borrowing money against these trades. So mm -hmm. if the trade doesn't start, if the trade doesn't start to go your way, you're going to be in debt for all mm -hmm. of that money, not that just money. what you not just what you traded, like all of the money that that what you traded represented. Which is crazy I mean, I think to me. They crashed like one point six billion dollars on fucking Monday. In the comments, in the comments, um, some plans, some IRAs, individual retirement funds will not allow you to self directly, um, self directed, um, funds. So you can't get money out without a thirty percent tax hit. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, well, that's... yeah. Not, not if, not if you're below age. Right, and the other thing about that is those people, those same hedge fund people, are playing with that money. That money's not just yeah. sitting in a bank somewhere. You know what I mean? That well, money is being played with on on on, on the same market. Hold on, hold on. They're okay, moving so that money to make profit. Yeah, absolutely. My job, I'm offered stock options. Not saying where I work, but they're decent options. But through my 401k, they put you in a fucking eight percent. Uh, growth market but what a lot of people don't realize because who the fuck studies finances <clears throat> find out if your 401k allows you to re uh, re reallocate your current contributions or your future contributions look at the ticker prices and see which ones have the the highest growth year to date and the highest growth three years to date and a lot of times like i was looking at mine the other day and they had me at an 8%, but I see one at a 37% growth. <laughs> so, yeah. so, like, wouldn't you want your employees to to thrive or something? No, 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 no. So, no, because then you might, you, you, you might turn around and get enough money to, to where you, not, you might not need to come to work.